This I wanna nail sports to the one Top blog out of the YouTube channel No matter which sports here we got it covered Subscribe and hit the notification bell What's up my wonderful peeps Sports to the bone here again man Shout out to all the viewers Subscribers and the followers Big up on yourself Alright my viewers and subscribers So uh, yeah Come to talk about this third and final T20 international between West Indies and Pakistan. And I must say congratulations to Pakistan. They were able to outclass us once again. You know, we saw some, some amount of improvement from the West Indies in terms of their batting, but the bowling failed us once, um, once again. So we're going to be zooming in on all of that. But before we go any further, I'm just going to say to you, if you are new to the channel and you have not yet subscribed, please go right ahead and subscribe to the channel. Also, make sure that you turn on the post notification bell, leave a like and drop a comment. Alright, so it was a high scoring game of viewers and subscribers. High, high scoring. Uh, Nicholas Poor and Wanda Toss decided that, you know, he wanted to bat first and what proved to be a very good batting strip, a very good batting wicket. Uh, we got off to a very good start. You know, um, we eventually got 207 for three. Yes, we're talking about West Indies getting 207 for three. Brandon King, once again, um, getting some runs. 43 of 21. Seven fours, two sixes with a strike rate of 204. And you guys that follow the channel will remember that Brandon King is one of them that I would have identified at the beginning of the tour that I was really worried about him going on this tour seeing that he, he, he didn't have any sort of form coming in but the mere fact that he came in, got a half century, then got a 40 yard that is extremely good for him and you know he just need to continue in this vein of form and who to tell, he might find himself at the top of the order for West Indies but um, congratulations to him. As I said, I will be the first one to say that I doubted him coming in based on his form. But I am happy to see that he came in, got some runs and was able to help the team. Uh, Shamar Brooks batting at the top of the order because we, you know, we, we didn't have Shea Hope. He played extremely well. Another one that I was worried about coming in. He got 49 of 31. Two fours and four classical looking sixes, 158 strike rate. So, um, Shamar Brooks came in, he, he, he batted extremely well, guys. You know, he was looking um, quite competent this time around. <laughs> we would have seen him in pre in previous game, game um, when he went out there. It seems as if he did not have a clue, but he was able to go out there and do his thing, albeit um, a step down in the quality of the bowling. But we are not even going to point out that, that Harris Ralph and Shine Shah Freedy weren't playing because at the end of the day, this is not our first string team either. So we play what is in front of us. So congratulations to Shamar Brooks also. Now, Nicholas Puran, our captain, he was finally able to tee off somewhat. And he got uh, 64 of 37, two fours and six sixes with a strike rate of 172.97 so nicholas puran you know um finally playing a captain's knock top scored for us uh darren bravo yeah man he came in apparently was feeling ill for those who actually listened to the, the previous videos that i would have done covering this series you know that i was calling for bravo to come in into the 11 once we would have found out that rastan chase myers and then um, she hope we're, we're, we're not feeling well. You understand? We would have called for Darren Bravo. We heard that he was ill. Apparently, he was okay this morning and he was able to play. So, 34 from 27 is what he got with three fours. And he remained not out. So, Darren Bravo coming in and doing his thing. He got off to a really slow start but was able to pick it up somewhat and finished with a strike rate of 125. Ravman Powell, he also remained not out 6 of 6. So that is basically where we finished my um, viewers and subscribers. 207 for 3 of the 20 overs. But in terms of the batting, I must say that these guys, they really settled down and they batted well. They played the ball on its merit, especially Brandon King and Shamar Brooks. They looked well. They looked good. You know, Nicholas Puran came in and, and did his thing. You know, and we were able to get all the way up to 207. As I said, it's on high scoring ground, you know, it's known to produce um run 
runs runs like that so congratulations to them a couple of the pakistan majority of the pakistan bowlers were roughly treated you know only only dahani wasn't really treated too roughly you know he had some very good um very good deliveries he bowled four overs for 23 runs with one wicket Mohamed Wazim got four overs. He went for 44, got two wickets. You know, the other bowlers, um, as you can imagine, they didn't take any wickets, but they traveled. You know, um, they really traveled. Mohamed Hassani, he went for 49. Uh, a couple of youngsters, they brought in a couple of youngsters, but they, they bowl at good pace, just the same, you know, talking about in the high 140s, even though they are not first team players. So they came in and they were able to represent their, their team um well so there you have it my viewers and subscribers that is what our batting looked like now going down to pakistan i want to tell you my viewers and subscribers we were the, our bowlers they went back to the same sort of line and length that they bowled in the first t20 you know the second t20 where we lost by nine runs the bowling was way way better i know um we were without akil hussein today goody kishmoti came in and he didn't do too badly at all. You know, playing his first game for West Indies uh, here, he bowled uh, four overs for 29 runs and he could have had a wicket. A catch was put down by Nicholas Puran. So him coming in, that, that wasn't too bad. He wasn't as as sharp and slick as a Akil Hussein, but he was good bowling nonetheless. He was our um, seam bowlers that once again, you know, let us down. Yeah, man, they let us down big time, especially Romario Shepard. Romario Shepard bowled 3.5 overs for 53 runs. 53 runs. And he picked up one wicket. So I'm not saying that Mohamed Rizwan and Baba Razam aren't quality, but you have to bowl, you have to be consistent in, in bowling good line and length. You understand? You can't just feed them the deliveries. And I watched the game from start to finish, and I can tell you a lot of the runs that these guys got, you know, they got it in the slot in the slot you know um drake's damanic drake's he, st he started off you know he didn't start to he didn't start off too bad at all he bowled four overs but then he got up got up he, he went for 37 got one wicket um odin smith wasn't um wasn't too 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 economical either three overs 34 runs one wicket you understand um hayden wash jr once again he bowled extremely bad, my viewers. As a, I don't even know how to describe it. It was horrible. Two overs for thirty runs. I was not talking about um some out some some inside edge or some ball hitting off the edge and and, and going past the keeper down to the boundary. We are talking about some long hops, some long hops, my viewers and subscribers. And he was bashed. He was battered. You know, so he, he definitely need to change that. I am not saying that um I am not saying that we can outclass this Pakistan team. But you are the bowler, you have the ball in your hand. So you cannot be bowling the ball in the middle of the pitch like that. O'Shane Thomas, I don't even like waste my time talk about O'Shane Thomas because you guys know what I think already. He should not be in this team. You know, the mere fact that we were hit by 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 the big C and people had to play then. I understand why he had to be out there, but I, I can't even waste my time. He was horrible also. You know, two overs, 25 runs. He bowled a couple of good deliveries um, early up. Then he just went downhill. Two overs, 25 runs. It was just bad. It was bad. And I know we have a bunch of young players, new players coming in. And I don't expect them to just come and outclass Pakistan. But my issue is with the bowling. The guys need to step it up, man. You cannot be bowling so many short balls. You understand? I know that the leagues that you that you were playing in, they are not as high as this. You know, but but at the same time, bowling a good line and a good length. You know, that, that can be too too that can be way too too difficult. You understand? That is why when we see these guys bowling down people in the T ten league and, and you don't see us see, see us running up and down behind it, you know, we, we, we know why. Funny enough, you know, how some of us um, West Indian people are, when we see our favorite players over there smashing sixes and smashing fours, we are going to say, yes, man, these guys are ready. The league is good. The league is good. Bowling is bowling. But when they come here now, you get to realize what is happening. And as I said, I am not marking them too hard because they went out there, they played against the number three ranked 
team Pakistan that is uh, Mohamed Rizwan on top form scored over 2,000 runs in the um, in the in the year. So we we, we, we we see that you know these guys are are very good. They are extremely good, but to consistently bowl short wayward deliveries there's no excuse for that you better you try and bowl the ball on the top of half stump and the man kill it with some classical shots when you're gonna bowl pure wide down the leg side and all of them sort of things you know that that is just um atrocious we can't work with that but um all in all we are indeed happy that yeah the ranting is finished i finished rant <laughs> but all in all we are indeed happy that the series you know the guys were able to go out there and complete um complete the series we are indeed happy that we would have gotten a chance to watch some cricket. Uh, some of the youngsters that we were saying need to get the opportunity. They got the opportunity. The Odin Smith and the Dominic Drakes. You understand they didn't set the place alight. But um, they, they will get better. And as I said, my viewers and subscribers, these guys need to play when they have um, a couple of senior players around them that can really help to shepherd them. Uh, poor and captaincy. It wasn't too bad. Uh, you know, it, it, I, I didn't see we were making a big, big blunder um, in terms of his field placing and the rotation of his bowlers. Um, the only thing that um, in the third and final game here uh, that he tried, he tried to bowl, well, he bowled out Goodikish Moti, you know and I mean? Coming in and, and, and really bowling so many overs at the top in the power play is not easy. Guess he was trying to play the Akil Hussein role. Uh, but separate and apart from that, it wasn't too bad. It's just that the bowlers, man, the pace bowlers especially, they, they were really, really bad. They bowled extremely bad. You understand? So um, even though we competed with the bat today, is, it is what it is. You know, we, we just have to look to rebound and come again. But uh, we're going to do our next video, my viewers and subscribers, to basically tie up the series, tie in the series, talk about the highs and lows talk about um what we expect going forward but i just wanted to do this video here to really um close off the third and final game and say a big congratulations to pakistan they played extremely well and they deserve it so sports to the bone keeping you informed my wonderful peeps just go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you have not yet subscribed and remember that we're gonna keep the content coming